The past several years have been really difficult for small business owners. Experts say it will take longer for black communities to recover from economic impacts caused, of course, by the pandemic. Here in Denver, there's an organization that works to educate and inspire the BIPOC community by helping develop small businesses. And we're joined by Carla Ladd, who's with us today, who is working with the best economic success Trust Summit or BEST. Am I getting that name right? BEST? Almost. is the Black Be Economic Success That's Trust it. is the organization. Thank you. And you're the executive director. I am. Okay. I am. I got that part. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Tell me about this and what it means. I know you guys have been around for a while. So what, what's the goal? Well, actually, um, the BEST has been around for about since 2005, yeah. actually, um, we changed our name last year from Mountain Region Black Economic Summit to BEST. And we uh, kind of focused our efforts on economic development, four p pillars in particular, small business development, leadership development, workforce development, and then youth economic development, which is really my my favorite piece of the whole thing is the youth economic empowerment piece. That, I mean, that sounds like the best. And this organization itself does all this, working with small business owners and others and inspiring that next generation. Absolutely. So you have this big thing coming up. And it's cool. <laughs> and it, it, tell us a little bit about, you've got, you've got uh, all kinds of things planned in the next couple of weeks. Yes, we do. So in, on June 9th, we have our Success Summit, which is our conference piece of the whole thing. That's gonna be at the Sheraton Downtown Denver. Um, and that's where we have all our workshops, our um, luncheon, our huge luncheon with our Wilma Awards named after um, Wilma Webb. Yep. Oh. And then we're also bringing in John Platt, big John Platt. He's from this area, so he's kind of coming home for this. He's Sony Music Publishing CEO and chair. So he's going to be there for the ninth. And then the 10th is the big thing that we're inviting the um, community to come out for, and that's the expo. Where we're going to have over 80 vendors, um, all different types, retail, um, health and wellness, personal finance, professionals, all of that. And we're also going to have a youth gospel showcase. And all of that for free um, for the public. Any and everybody is welcome to come. And this is at Mile High. This is at Bronco Stadium, yep. Very cool. So Very cool. Who, I, I know we just have a few seconds left, but who would you love to see come besides the young people? That... Besides the young people, I would love to see everybody there. We put a lot of effort into this um, event. And so anybody and everybody is welcome to come and check out and support the black businesses that will be there. We're also going to have food trucks, so come hungry. Oh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> We're going to have food Love trucks. Food so trucks. The Sugar Storm is probably going to be the most popular thing there. That's a, a truck just full of candy and sweets. And oh, my. You had me at that. With the name. <laughs> with the name. I know that you're really busy getting this organized, yeah. but um, thank you for all the work you do for all these great black-owned businesses in our community mm -hmm. and the youth and getting them excited and just feeling that sense of community. No, thank you so much. We're excited about bringing this to the community, bringing it back to the community. It's been five years since we last did it, and so we're looking forward to bringing it back. It's time. It is time. Thanks, Carla. Thank you. <laughs> Go Nuggets. All right. Exactly. Good one.